I thought I was dying about a week ago. My cough almost made me spew out my stomach and all that beautiful stuff. But after seeing Matt Damon be alone for years on Mars, I figured I had it easy. I will take my cough any day of the week, then face what he had to go through. Okay, so Castaway 2, The Revenge of Wilson. So The Martian follows the story of astronaut botanist Mark Watney, who after an accident where he and his crew are on a mission on Mars, he is presumed dead by the world. Surprisingly enough, Mark ends up surviving this accident, where he comes to find out that his crew left him behind and he's all alone on Mars. And it's forcing him to use every single skill he has possible to survive and try to find numerous ways in contacting NASA to let them know that he is alive and well. And after discovering Mark Watney is alive, NASA and his former crew must find a way to bring Mark back to Earth as fast as they can before he runs out of time and becomes a permanent dead guy. Now, The Martian is directed by the legendary Ridley Scott, who we can all agree, he just hasn't been on the top of his game lately. He's one of those directors where he does put out good films, but they just aren't up to par like, let's say, Alien, Blade Runner, and Gladiator. And I was waiting for a film where he finds that spark in his filmmaking, but after seeing The Martian, I think he's back on track again. Because there were so many aspects to The Martian that really brings it across as a realistic space drama, and half of it had to do with the acting. You have Matt Damon given an excellent performance as Mark Watney, who is by himself a majority of the movie, tackling on how someone would survive in a situation like the one he faces. He could easily go like, oh man, I'm gonna die out here, but him surviving and keeping his sanity just makes his character seem really realistic. You like rooted for this guy the whole time, you wanted him to survive because he was such a likable character, and it is one of the best Matt Damon performances I have seen in a while. And usually when you have an all-star cast like in this movie, they would end up being forced characters or they would just be there for a couple seconds to say, hey, what's up, and they would dip out. Not anybody in The Martian, every single character just like Matt Damon give excellent performances as well. There was not a hint of bad acting in here. I love the relationship he had with his crewmates. The way they rubbed off on each other helped you get behind Mark Watney and his survival on Mars. It's like, yeah, get back to your crew, man. And even the characters back on Earth and the relationships they had with each other, it was just entertaining to watch on screen. And that's what The Martian does is that sometimes it will go from Mars to Earth and from Earth back to Mars. And they did that in the most smoothest way possible. When you're on Mars with Mark Watney, it really feels like you're on this desolate wasteland of a planet. And even though they did shoot on location, it really feels like you're on Mars. And when you're on Earth with some of the characters from NASA, they're going through this race against time scenarios to bring him back home, and that's just as entertaining as when you're on Mars. It never bores you. The movie never drags. I usually say this when they bring science into a movie, because I'm not the biggest science fan, but it takes the right director to get me extremely invested in some of the science it brings across. And even the science is entertaining as shit. Maybe I've come to the conclusion that I'm just missing out all these years on science altogether. It's truly a beautiful thing. And the fact that they use science to its advantage to make it entertaining, that's only some of the great things about The Martian. In a film perspective, it was a great blend of every genre put into one movie. There was comedy, drama, and even a little bit of horror thrown into the mix. None of it seemed out of place or it could have been used differently. It was very surprising to me that I found this movie to be really funny. And most of it came from Matt Damon. When he's working his botany magic, he's like, yeah, I'm the greatest botanist on the planet right now. Yeah, you know what? You brag about that, Matt Damon, the potato farmer. And it's usually very difficult considering this is a film that takes place in the course of five years, I believe? To show the progression of time, they did that smoothly and as believable as possible. Usually, they would always have something missing in cases like those, but they did it in a way where I couldn't think of anything better. They probably did, since it is based off a book, but, well, you know me and those books. Because in the end, The Martian is a beautifully directed movie by Ridley Scott. It has beautiful cinematography. The acting was great. The screenplay was great. Since it was a blend of every genre mixed in there. And they made signs like so cool. Like, I want to grow my own garden and call it the Matt Damon Garden. And it's easily one of the best films of the year so far. Because Castaway 2, The Revenge of Wilson is absolutely legendary in my opinion. Wilson! I'm sorry I left you in space, Wilson. I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are on about The Martian. How is it comparing to the book and the movie? What Whatever they are, leave them down below. And as always, there's a link for my Twitter and my Facebook below as well. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I have to get going because I'm, I'm really fucking hungry right now. I need to eat.